to think you were once a prisoner of mine. Now look at you. Where does the time go? bottle. N no, it's, it's empty, although it, it has some water droplets in it. Hey! No, don't come any closer. You... you aren't human, are you? Y you look human, but there's something different about you. N no, hey! I said don't come any closer. I don't know who you are. But you could still be on the side of those monsters. I don't trust you. Am I... stuck? Uh, um... Uh... Yeah. My, my tentacles are, are caught in some kind of trap. No doubt put here by the humans. Why would they want to trap me? I... I... I I, I I don't know. I, I just... It, it doesn't matter. Are you going to help me or not? <laughs> well, obviously, you're not one of the humans hunting me, and you haven't tried to hurt me, so... Come on! Just hurry up and help me! No, I'm not blushing. Just... It, it's just this trap, okay? It... it really hurts. Uh, ah. th th thank you. I, I, I don't know how to feel. Your kind is responsible for so many bad things, but then you just saved me. I've never been so scared before, or so grateful. What am I? What kind of a rude question is that? Hmm. Well, whatever. I'm an octopoid. I'm the last of my kind. The rest, they were taken by those pirates. I, I don't know where they are, or if they're still alive. But I, I must adapt. I am what you would call a scientist, except my knowledge is limited. I have gathered knowledge and supplies from around the crashed ships here on Psychorax, but the knowledge collected is limited and outdated, so I have decided to use my knowledge to discover a method to transform myself, to give myself legs and hide my tentacles so that I may continue my studies. But I'm trapped here. I need supplies I don't have to do this transformation, and I can't just go and get those supplies or even get off-world without rousing suspicion of what I am. <sighs> this limiting body of mine, I used to think the tentacles were so helpful in organizing and holding multiple things. <sighs> but when you constantly need water in order to stay alive, there are people on land hunting you? It's just not worth it. What about you? Why are you here? You're looking for someone? Who? 
pirate? Why? You're going to ask them for help? What, what kind of pirate would help anyone? All they've done for anyone is bring pain and suffering. Huh. A good pirate? That sounds like some sort of lewd fantasy. I bet you're really into that as well, you sicko. Hm. W wait where are you go uh, I, 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 I'm drying out. I, I need water. Please help me. Ah, ah that's so much better. Oh, man. That's twice you've saved me now. Great. Now I have to pay you back two times over. You see what you've done? <laughs> Whatever. Do you want something from me? <laughs> Are you an idiot? I'm not doing this because I want to. You do want something from me? Well, go ahead and tell me what it is already. You want me to... go with you? T to the pirates? Do you want me to die? You, you just want a friend? Mm, well... Okay, I guess, but... When we get there, I I'm gonna hold your hand. What? N no! You stupid! I'm, I'm scared, is all. Y you would be too if, if you were going to meet people who captured your friends and family. Uh, actually, c can I hold your hand now? Uh -huh. I'm still scared. Th thank you. Your hands. They're so warm. Uh, d d d don't get the, the wrong idea. I, I j j just need, need to know you're here for me, okay? You are? Uh, you idiot! Good then! Huh? M my name? Y yeah, I have a name. M my name is Calamos. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Whatever. It's a dumb name anyway. Well, what's yours? Oh, I've never heard of a name like that before. D do, do I like it? Of course not. I hate it, in fact. Uh, oh, are you all right? You're crying? Oh, jeez. Uh, please, please stop crying. I, I, I didn't mean it. Please. I, if you keep crying, uh, I, I'll start crying. And, and believe me, that, that's a lot worse. I'm... I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. You forgive me? I'm so glad. Uh, I mean, uh, of course you forgive me. Now let's get on to finding these pirates, I, I, I guess. Come here, silly.
You're going to do great things for people. You'll see. enough that you convince me to come with you. What are we doing here? Uh, it's like you want us to get caught. Just find a place to put the letter down and let's go. And what letter would that be? <laughs> Whoa there, friend. You don't want to wake up the rest of the crew now, do you? This is your stealth mission after all. Come on. Why don't you have a seat? Uh, there we go. Alright, first, introductions. Name's Yarguin, captain of the Hercules and leader of the Flashheart Pirates. And you are? Huh, that name. We're gonna have a talk about that name. And who are you? Kalamos. Kalamos. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kalamos. Always glad to see an octopoid in perfect health, especially one as majestic as you. Sh shut up! <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Now, let's talk. What brings you two very attractive stowaways on board my ship? I'm not complaining. It's just that it's not every day that a cute spy such as yourself shows up on my ship. Ah, so you're not spies. Well, you'll have to forgive me. The whole breaking and entering and skulking around my ship in the dark really gave me that impression. Wait, how long did you know we were here? When did you break in again? Maybe ten minutes ago? Let's see. If you broke in ten minutes ago, then that means I've known about this for... Mm, ten minutes. I... You're an even bigger idiot! <laughs> no need to get all frustrated with me. After all, compared to what others would do to you for breaking and entering, I'd say you're getting off easy. Still doesn't answer my question, though. What are you doing here, even? You wanted my help? <laughs> you could have just asked, you know. Discreet? Please. I am not one for such behavior. I prefer things to be more dramatic, exciting, romantic, maybe even a little bit reckless. So no, being stealthy is not in my vocabulary. But do you know what is? Gorgeous. And baby, you are the definition. What? No, I don't joke about beauty, especially when it's staring me right in the face. In fact, Give me a second. Just gonna test my luck real quick. I hope you don't mind. Aha! My lucky coin says we'll kiss. We wouldn't want to disappoint Lady Luck now, would we? Mm. Ow! <laughs> well, maybe I deserve that. But I think with that ferocious attitude, having good luck may not be a concern. Say, you want to join my crew? Uh huh? Join your crew? Yeah, why not? You got some fight in you, I see that. You sought out me on your own, too. That takes some guts. Uh, actually, hang on, wait. How'd you even know I was out here? Not even the Thunderhive knows where I like to hide. Hmm? What's this you're giving me? A letter. Wait. I know this signature. <laughs> Dr. Arkov Sosha. Of course. I told her about my place on Psychorax. <laughs> Crazy. I haven't heard from her in such a long time. How was the old lady? Last time I saw her I was what? Eight? <laughs> it's funny. She had this kid who looks a lot like... Huh. Something tells me I know how you got your name. Oh. 
So, she's gone. I'm sorry, that must have been hard for you. I wasn't told much about her, sadly, but I don't believe anyone deserves to die. Looks like she gave you a mission, too. Hmm. It's tricky, but together we can do it. What? Uh, just like that? B but you're a pirate! Y you only do what you want, and, and you take even more! <laughs> Sounds like someone's been reading the propaganda. That's okay, cutie. I forgive you. I... Uh, I'm not cute! <laughs> you're even cuter when you're trying to lie. Shut up! <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about this mission of yours. You're playing messenger and you need me to deliver something to Captain Forks. The Pirate King. It's unfortunate, but I don't actually know where he is. There was an event that happened. I don't want to go into detail, but after it happened, Forks went AWOL. No one knows what happened to him. I did try to find him again, but the trail grew cold, crafty bastard. If he doesn't want to be found, it seems like he's not gonna be found. The only one I can think of who might know where he is would be... No. No, I'm not going to let you do that. Uh-huh. What are you talking about now? Um, hey, Calamos, was it? Y y yes You must be drying out soon. Would you like a bath? Oh, um, sure. I guess. Excellent. Leah, I know you're watching us, you cretin. <laughs> it's my job as first mate to protect you, Captain. Where did you come from? Leah, please help Calamos with the bath. And try not to freak the poor child out. Understood, Captain. Wait, Calamos. W what is it now? You've been cut. Huh? Uh, oh. Are you alright? Yeah, I, I just got caught on a trap earlier. Come here. W what are you. Hey! You're f no! Hold still Get off me! Only take a second. Get off! Uh, no! Stop! <sighs> there. Or better. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Did, did you just lick me? I can heal people by licking them. Ever heard of a wolf licking its wounds? The same concept applies. G get off me! Okay, okay. You're really blushing like crazy. You're so cute. J just, just take me to the bath! You heard the man, Leah. Yes, Captain. Right this way, please. Huh. <sighs> Calamos is the last of the octopoids. The rest are dead by the hands of Mortalis. It's why I don't want you going anywhere near him. Well, yes, I suppose it's the best lead you have to finding Forks. But if you do this, I can't support you. Mortalis knows me and my crew too well. If he finds out that you're working with me, he'll use you. No, I suppose you don't have much of a choice. Calamos will want to go with you too, naturally. <sighs> I don't like this. I'm no stranger to suicide missions, but this feels fruitless. Well, I guess it's time to formulate a plan. Mortalis is actually on Psychorax right now. So that is convenient. All you have to do is sneak in and find something relating to Forks. Do not talk to him, okay? It's not that you won't get anything out of him, but if you do... Well, chances are you won't be coming back. He'll be especially interested in Calamos too. Say, what are your intentions with Calamos anyway? Well, regardless, please take care of him. Whatever happens, make sure he never gets hurt. I used to have a lot of friends who were octopoids. They are a very tragic race. Victims of a genocide. It's amazing to find one so healthy. So please, take good care of him for me. For his sake, if not mine. Can you do that? Good. That's all I ask. Thank you.
Don't worry. Yargwin has asked me to take care of him. You just focus on your mission. Come on! Wake up! Please! You've got to! I... I... I need you! Stop! I can't cry! I can't... I can't cry! Ah! Oh, you're finally awake! Are you hurt? Here, let me have a look. D d don't get any funny ideas! I'm just trying to make sure you're not hurt. Well, you look alright. Oh! There's a bump on your head. Um, would you like me to rub it better? It, it always helps me. Y you would? Uh, uh, okay. Here. that. That look. Stop giving me that look. Honestly, I can't tell which one of you's worse. You or Yargwin. What? I... I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm scared. I've... I've feared the pirates for such a long time. And now that we've been captured by them... What's gonna happen? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting hysterical. Uh, I'll calm down. Oh. Thank you. I've never met someone who would openly accept me. After giving you such a hostile greeting as well. I've never had anyone really to talk to. Especially since my family was taken. If I'm honest, while I've been scared... I was really excited to meet someone for the first time in so long, and you didn't deserve that. And I'm sorry. I... I, I shouldn't cry. I just... I just hope you can forgive me. So, you've finally woken up from your nap, have you? Excellent. The captain would like to talk to you. I'll summon him now. L Leah? Is that you? Did you betray us? Why? Why did you betray us? Curious. You have met my brother. I... What? You're not Lear? I am Vale Fangard. You are referring to my twin brother, Lear Fangard. Who happens to work for Yarguin? I... um... Oh... Oh no. I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Well, well, well. Now this is an interesting pair of characters. Captain, I have some information. Go ahead. The Octopoid referred to me as Lear, as in Lear Fangard. The same Lear Fangard who was first mate on board the Hercules with Yarguin. Yes, sir. Well then, I suppose my initial suspicions have been confirmed. No one else knows about our arrival on Psychorax besides Yarguin. He was always better at hide-and-seek. Coward. <laughs> so, he sent his lackeys here, but why? What does he have to gain from this? Hmm. I guess I should have them both interrogated then. I'll go prepare my tools, Captain. No need. I'll do it myself. Vale... I want you to have the crew on standby, and take the Macbeth into high orbit. If Yarguin is making his move, we'll need to be on full alert. As you wish, Captain. Part of me hopes he does attack. I still have to pay him back for the arm he took. Now, where to begin? I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Mortalis, of Black Epsilon. I am the captain of the Macbeth, the ship you currently find yourself in. I don't know who you are, or what you want, but 
I'm, I'm not going to give you anything. Shut up. Huh? I don't care what you know. I don't care for you at all. As far as I'm concerned, you're a lamb for the slaughter. Besides, you've already revealed that you're working for Yarguin, and I wasn't even here for that. The only reason I haven't started torturing you is because of this one. Because if there's one thing I hate more than a pathetic octopoid, it's a human hybrid. What poor human would dare allow such hideous DNA to mix with their own? Your very existence pisses me off. You're an abomination. I should put you out of your misery. Unfortunately for you, you've struck my curiosity. Because Yagwin sent you. He never sends any of his crew, let alone two degenerate strays, to do something that he would only do himself. Hey! Why are you saying these things? How dare you say that to my f- I don't think you understand your situation. <sighs> you feel it, don't you? The power I possess. You feel my hand gripping you, yes, but you feel something else, too. You don't know what it is. It tingles a little, and right now your mind is racing as you ask yourself, What is this? What does it do? Am I going to die? To answer that question, well, I don't know quite yet. But I will give you some very friendly advice. You better speak when spoken to. Other than that, stay silent. If you don't, I'll do a lot worse than give you the sweet release of death. Do you understand? <gasps> Yes. I didn't hear you. What did you say? Y yes I... I... I'm sorry. Good. I'll deal with you in time. For now, I have some questions. Specifically, for you. While you're a filthy human hybrid, you're clearly the brains behind this little operation. So, why are you sneaking around my ship? Better yet, what is Yagwin planning? Not talking. <laughs> ah, I have almost forgotten. I do apologize. I need to provide you with some... incentive to this interrogation. Mm, I saw how you reacted when I grabbed your pet. Tell me, did he ever tell you why he doesn't want to cry? Of course not. He wouldn't trust anyone with this information. And for good reason. Well, time for a small lesson in octopoid anatomy. Octopoid body chemistry is almost entirely liquid-based. It's what gives them that smooth and soft touch that I'm sure you're aware of. The liquid inside also has quite potent healing properties, said to even bring back the dead with a strong enough dose. My power lets me drain them through their tears. The downside for them is that the inky substance permanently stains their eyes, rendering them blind. Not even Yarguin can heal it. Then, if I keep going, I drain their bodies entirely, leaving only a lifeless husk. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you don't tell me what you're doing here, I will drain this pet of yours to death. Good. I'm glad you understand me. Now, tell me Yagwin's plan. I want to know everything. Ah, uh, so the famous Dr. Arkov Sosha has finally finished her lifelong project. And now here you are, playing the part of the delivery man. So, what was your destination? Forks, the ex-pirate king. You really have no idea of current events in the outside world, do you? Well, to make a long story short, no. I don't know where Forks is. After the Transavulons attacked Thunderhive, he disappeared. But 
I do know where to look for information on his whereabouts. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm afraid that information comes at a price. Well, the price is this. I will help you find Forks, but you have to give me something in return. Nothing too major. You won't have to go on any kind of deadly quest like the one Yarwin put you on. No, all you have to do is give me your undying loyalty. Simple enough, right? So, what do you say? Mm, you'll have to think about it. Bold of you to assume that you have that luxury. Let me show you just how much time you actually have left. Octopoid. Uh, huh? Cry. F what? I... No, no. What is this? Why am I... No. Stop it. I can't cry. Stop crying. No. <laughs> My power lets me control your pet's emotions. Its eyesight is practically forfeit at this point, but it'll take a couple hours for it to completely die of dehydration. You have until then to decide. Now, I'll keep him out of sight and out of earshot. You best be thinking clearly when you make this decision. It's what you wanted, right? Besides, my ship's doctor has been begging me to give him a live subject for his experiments. Can't let it go to waste. Again, no pressure. My eyes! No! I, I can't see! No! No! In case you thought I was bluffing, there's your proof. I'll leave you alone now to gather your thoughts. <laughs> now, you, get up. <laughs> you mean- Ow! I said get up. If you make me say it again, I'll drag you by your hair across the ship. <laughs> oh, okay. Obedient. Good. You'll need to be where you are going. Walk in front of me and stay close. We don't want your tears to go to waste. You're a strange one, kid, but I like you. The boy antic is all yours. If you find anything out there, uh, let me know. I'm sure we can put a price on it. The octopod will last another two days before we drain it completely. Any updates on converting the biogel tears? Our progress is... slow. It would be useful to have access to Transphoria's database. Absolutely not. I refuse to use such hideous attempts at technology. We'll figure it out on our own. Right. Sure. If that's the case, then perhaps we should set off for Thunderhive. I can get in touch with my colleagues and see what they've learned. We all need to deliver the remains of our specimen once it's finished stringing away. You make a good point. However, I have reason to believe that Yagwin will be trying to make a move against us. If we turn our backs, he'll strike us while we're unaware. As you say, Captain. Speaking of which, you've said that the captives were in search of the expirant King Forks. Yes. What of it? Well, the thought occurred that perhaps we should also search for him. His help might be useful, if we are to win this war against Renforia. <laughs> Forks. He doesn't have the will nor the heart for vengeance. At least not now. He's weak. Remember the attack on Thunderhive fifteen years ago? Of course. Most of us do. Well, I don't. I wasn't there. I was safely on Forks' ship, the Landlighter, heading back home casually, completely oblivious to what had happened. 
when we finally got home and saw the devastation, we turned to Forks in a desperate search for an answer. I looked into his eyes. I saw something. A fiery, burning passion for vengeance unlike anything I had ever seen before. But then he did something that I now find disgusting. He pushed the feeling away. That need for vengeance, that desire to destroy our enemies. He practically ran from it. <sighs> when I confronted him, he said I'd understand when I was older that vengeance isn't always the answer. He clearly was not looking at the same devastation as I was. I argued with him, called him a fool for not seeing what had happened. So I ran off and started Black Epsilon. Not long after I did so, both Forks and the Landlighter disappeared. I see. So, even if he could help, no one knows where he is. No. The only one I can think of who might have some idea as to where he went would be Switchfang. But no one has ever gotten anything out of him. He's not the CEO of InfoVault for no reason. Client discretion. I can respect that. Yeah. The only one stupid enough to even try to get anything out of him would be Yagwin. Even more reason not to find him, and prevent Yagwin from doing the same. Anyway, the fact remains that there is no point in looking for Forks. Surely you would want to tie up the loose ends in some way. You were pretty close to Forks once, if I remember correctly. Some say that you were like a son to him once. That is none of your concern, Resper. And I suggest you get back to work. Yes, Captain. Please, let me go. I, I didn't hurt anyone. I, I just want to go home. Please. Huh? I... I know that voice. It's you. You escaped? How? How did you... Oh, no, never mind. Please, you have to get me out of here. Who knows when they'll come back? Th th thank you. I thought I was going to die. I suppose we should get going. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, I can stand. I'm not sure how, but there's this device on me. It's keeping me moisturized. Pretty useful, but... I don't know how long it'll last. Anyway, let's go- OW! Yeah, I'm okay. It's just... I... I... I can't see. I'm... I've been blinded. I... I... We can talk about it later. Come on, you're going to have to guide me. I'll follow you, okay? Is... Yeah, is everything okay? Where are we going? An escape pod? Oh, I wish I could help you. I know. We can do this. We can do this. We have no choice. Attention. We have a prison break in progress. All personnel are to be on the lookout for a humanoid hybrid. Last known location, Deck 7. The brig. Thank you. Humanoid hybrid? That's... that's you, isn't it? Oh, we're running out of time. Hey, did you check that hallway? Huh? Yeah. You, you found it? You found the escape pods. Well, well, quickly, get in. Um, you don't know how to fly this thing, do you? An escape pod has been activated. Recommended course of action? Search escape pods. Thank you. Oh, d maybe I can try and see if this button. Ah! Well, I guess that worked. I have to ask, how did we do that? Well, I'm not exactly one to look a gift horse in the mouth, at this point anyway. 
tell me. Are we going the right way? Are we flying back to Psychorax? My home? We are? Oh, I knew I could trust you. Wait. Are you... crying? Why? Oh dear, oh, oh dear, what's wrong? M my eyes? You blame yourself for... P please don't. I, I chose to come with you. I knew that there would be people after me, and I chose to come with you. I had a selfish desire to... to be with you, because... Because you're my friend, and I don't feel safe with anyone else. You failed your duty of care? No, that's not true! Even after I was blinded, you still did all you could to save me! And you did! You did save me, against all odds! I can't thank you enough. So please, just... I have to admit, I kind of wish I could see right now. Hey, what does it look like? What does Psychorax look like from space? It's blue? Well, I guess that kind of helps. I always kind of assumed it was blue. I guess my suspicions are correct then. strange. I was expecting, well, more of a sploosh. Well, well, look who we got here. I knew trusting my instincts would find you. I saw a flash in the sky and immediately brought the ship to intercept. Yagwin? <laughs> hey, Calamos. Oh no. You, you met him, didn't you? I told you not to. I told you he would hurt him. What? Hey, no, stop! It was an accident! They, they caught us! That is no excuse. Do you know how many of his kind are left? Do you- Yagwin, stop! Please. You're scaring me. I- I- I'm sorry. I- I need a moment. Leah. Hello, Captain. Please take Calamos and get him cleaned up with some fresh water. Right away, Captain. And get that hydro synthesizer off him. It'll kill him if it fries. <sighs> You're scaring me. It's just like one. When... <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lash out at you. I can't even imagine the pain you must be going through. First friend you made in the outside world. And he's gone blind under your care. I've been there. More times than I should be able to. Trenforia used to drain octopoids for their tears and sell them on the black market for their extraordinary healing properties. The relationship was parasitic in nature, but it was more humane than Mortalis' idea. He killed them. All of them. An entire race of peaceful ocean-faring creatures, all gone just to end Trenforia's black market on them. He thought the best way to end the supply and demand chain was to simply kill off the supply. I hate saying this, but it worked. I can't heal him, you know. My power, it only works on wounds that heal naturally. I can even do broken bones to an extent. Calamos blindness, though. That's a genetic function. Can't heal what isn't broken. He was born to go blind, as all octopoids are. I did tell you, they're a tragic race. Huh? Fifteen years ago. Oh, I see. So, he eavesdropped dropped on Mortalis, then. I'm actually impressed. Yeah, Mortalis was pretty close to Forks back in the day. Not just him, though. Me too. And one other. We were like his kids. 
brothers in arms, the three musketeers, is what folks used to call us. According to him, it was some kind of ancient earth phrase. I don't know. Again, I apologize. I don't really like talking about it. If it's alright with you, I'd like to move on. Enough has happened today. Better not to bring up the past. For now, we'll take a breather. Get your bearings. Wait. Did you ever find out if Mortalis knew where Forks was? Switchfang? Well, yeah, I guess he would know, but no one has ever... You said that I would be the only one stupid enough to try? <laughs> well, you know what? He's right. New plan. I'll work on the details, but for now, know this. If we are still planning on finding Forks, and we are, we're gonna need some backup. Better buckle up. We're going to Thunderhive. You have good friends here. Make sure you cherish the time you have with them, because they won't be here forever. Well, here we are. Thunderhive, humanity's refuge. Mr. Baynar, now that we're safely in Thunderhive airspace, I'll leave the docking situation in your capable hands. Hi, Captain. Hey. <laughs> hey. You okay? You're really gripping that support beam. <laughs> Aw, you got scared going through the cloak, huh? Well. How else is Thunderhive supposed to protect itself, especially after it was attacked? Cool piece of tech though, right? From the outside, it looks like just another asteroid. But it's just a massive hologram shield. I believe the designer called it the Wakanda Shield. Some kind of reference to ancient Earth, I don't know. Anyway, why don't you come over here? Let me help you loosen up. Come on, it's alright. Nothing's gonna hurt you. You can hold on to me if you want. Hey! <laughs> there you are. No, it's okay. You can hug me if you want. <laughs> Didn't think you'd take me up on the offer, though. <laughs> You're, uh, actually a pretty good hugger. <laughs> Sorry for freaking you out. But then again, that was pretty funny. So I guess I'm not actually sorry. <laughs> You okay now? Good. Alright. So, here's the plan. Take this. It's a map of Thunderhive. You're gonna need it if you want to get around. I want you to sneak into Info Vault. See if you can find anything on Captain Forks. What if you get caught? <laughs> well, then I'll just have to come rescue you. Don't worry. You'll do great. I promise you won't get hurt. Do you trust me? <laughs> Good. Oh, that reminds me. Before you go, I want you to take this to a friend of mine. His name is Vision. Oh, don't worry. He already knows you're on your way. He's cool like that. Take Calamos too. Vision will want to see him. You should actually check in with Leah, see how Calamos is doing. Oh, and then tell Leah to come see me. I have a mission to uh, acquire some assets, and I need his particular skills. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Oh, come on. I'm not up to no good. I thought you trusted me. <laughs> Go on then. Go find Calamos and bring him to the bridge. I'll give you the mission briefing then. I'm telling you. 
regular. This guy couldn't have been more obvious with what he wanted. Uh, but you know I sure as hell wasn't gonna give it to him. Oh, hey! It's you! Remember me? I sold you that boy antic. Bet you didn't think I was a space pirate, eh? Yeah, I do what I can to keep people off of Yargwin's back when he goes into hiding. Kind of amazed at what I do. Uh, but that's enough gloating on my end. I better get to the bridge. Don't want to keep the boss man waiting. See you around, kid! <laughs> oh, hello there. My name is Lear Fangard. I suppose we have not properly been acquainted yet. I do apologize. My tasks do keep me quite busy. I'm not complaining, of course. Yarwin is a wonderful captain. I only wish he would take better care of himself. You know, he hasn't slept once since you met him. He's been awake for three days straight planning out this mission. Sure, he seems okay when he's talking to everyone else, but... That's really only to distract himself from the fact that he's hurting, and badly too. If he doesn't realize that, this mission will go down poorly. That is of course where I come in. As his first mate, it is my secret job to look out for him. Hmm? Oh, so you've met my brother. How is he doing? Physically, I mean. I know how he is mentally. We have a sort of telepathic link. For example, he just sent me a fart joke. He's very cheeky when he wants to be. But then again, so am I. I will get him back eventually. <laughs> hmm? Oh, no, he hasn't told me anything about what happened on the Macbeth. He and I have a strict rule against talking about work. We prefer to calmly debate what the right course of action should be in any given situation. But we can't control our captain's actions. That is up for them to work out. Speaking of our captains, did Yagwin send you here? Ah, excellent. I will seek him out at once. And I assume you also want to see Kalamos. He's in his designated room, second door on the right down that corridor. He seems a little preoccupied with a project he was working on. Please do enter with caution. Farewell. Not clear? Huh? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want you to see me like this just yet. Uh, so, um, how are you? What do you mean what happened to me? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. So, as it turns out, Yagwin actually has some of the chemicals I needed to make the serum to transform myself. I don't think it's permanent though. But now I can walk around on two legs at least. So, what, what, what do you think? Ow! Uh, ow! Ow! Uh, uh, I still need to get used to them. They, they aren't disformed, are they? I can never be sure if they look right. They look... good? What? What do you mean, indecent exposure? I never did understand why humans feel the need to cover up. <sighs> well, whatever. I'll put on some clothes. I found some in this closet. What? Oh, the closet's over there. Uh, sh shut up! <laughs> Oh, so this is kind of embarrassing, but can you help me pick out some clothes? I don't really know what's acceptable and, well, it would be nice to have an extra pair of eyes. There, I said it! Are you going to help me or not? You will? Um, well... Good. Oh, what's this? It feels really nice. Hey, I may be blind, but I can still hear you. Okay, just one arm there, and the other goes there. And Whoa, what are you doing? 
tucking my shirt in? No, no, I can do that myself. Jeez, this is really uncomfortable. Do I really have to wear it like this? Well, I'm not going to. It's so itchy. Okay, there. So, are we done? How do I look? D do I fit in? Will you hold my hand? Just, just in case. Thank you. All right, we've ducked. Everyone ready? Whoa, Calamos, what happened to you? You're all two-legged. I used the chemicals on board the ship to create a substance that could morph my genetic structure into- You made a polymorph potion. I, it, yes. That's all you had to say, buddy. <laughs> now, I kind of have a reputation here, so I'm gonna draw out all the attention and then you head out after me, okay? Lear, Tide, you're with me. Hi, Captain. Hi, Captain. You two are on your own, but you've got my map, so you should be fine. Keep Calamus close to you, okay? All right, people, let's move out. Wow, this place is so big. There's so many people. You don't mind if I squeeze your arm, do you? I, I I just want to know that you're there, okay? I've never really been to a place like this before. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. Even I have a hard time with this stuff. What does he actually do? I gotta clean the toilet And the non employees need to be broken properly. No. That's fine. How can anyone focus in this place? You get used to it. Jeez! Uh, why is everyone sneaking up on me today? You must be Calamos. What? H how did you know? There's much I know, but there's much more I cannot say. Especially not here. Come with me. We have much to discuss. This is my sanctuary, although everyone typically calls it the Teller's Dojo. Here I can teach you, Calamos, how to see without your eyes. See without eyes? What do you mean? You can't see without the necessary body parts to do so. In time, you'll understand. For now, I must talk to your friend. I assume Yarguin has something else for me. Hmm? A letter. Thank you, friend. You may go now. Don't worry. Yarguin has asked me to take care of him. You just focus on your mission. Wait! D don't I get a say in this? Calamos, feel where my eyes are. Okay, I guess... Huh? You're... You're wearing a blindfold. I always have been. I'm blind too. I... I don't understand. How are you able to... If you stay with me... I can show you how to do the same. I... 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 Okay. I will. You will be with your friend again. I know this, as I know many things. I, I don't have to pay you for anything, do I? No, no, of course not. Someone else is paying for your tab anyways. Okay. Um, hey... Um... I just wanted to say... Before you go... Stay safe. I... I, 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 I care about you, okay? I'll see you soon. Oh, sweetie, it's okay. You don't have to be the best at hide and seek. Hey, hey you, 
Wake up! Oh, I sure hope Switchfang won't be angry with me if he finds out about this. Find out about what, Dredge? S sir, I I'm so sorry. I found that person you were looking for, and I took a rock Calm and I- Calm yourself, Dredge. I do things at my own speed. You know this. Now, tell me, what is it that we have here? Well, Master, this person intended to break in. Mm, yes, I can tell. You really banged the truant up, didn't you? How many times have I told you to be careful? <laughs> uh, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> Quite. Now, be a good little servant and make yourself useful. I've been reading the mind of this one, and it makes me realize that I could be a while. You remember the drill for these situations, correct? Yes, Master. Stack any papers that come in. Neatly, Dredge. Neatly. Yes, neatly. And hold all calls until you get back. Don't forget, if anything serious happens, it's not serious enough. I will return if and or when it becomes absolutely necessary. Do I make myself clear? Y yes sir. That's what I like to hear. Now, away with you. I must tend to our little thief privately. Poor thing. He works so hard to please me, he ends up making more trouble for himself. Although, I do believe his efforts were not for naught this time. By the way, I know you're awake. You may have dredge fooled, but I know when someone is sleeping or dead. Oh, shh, 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 don't speak. I already know what you're going to say. Could you not hear me earlier? I did openly state that I can read minds. I've never tried to hide that fact. I find it really does instill at least a small sense of fear into people. Their minds start wandering when they hear those words to all the deep, dark little secrets that they tell themselves not to think about. But then they immediately start thinking about them. It's quite ironic, really. Ever heard of Red Button Disorder? It's a mental disability from ancient Earth that causes an insatiable desire to do the opposite of what you are supposed to do. Typically, those who have had it live rather short lives. Of course, no one has it now, but the point still stands. Tell people something like, don't look at me, don't touch that, or don't think about that, and they'll immediately do the opposite, or at the very least, think about what would happen if they did. It's very useful when I need a way to torture someone. So, what are you thinking about, I can only wonder? Oh, you are clever, aren't you? Forgive me, but I do find it hilarious when I ask people and they tell me lies, knowing full well I already know exactly what they're thinking. It's quite amusing. Now, enough beating around the proverbial bush. Let's get down into why you're here. I'd like to start by posing a question. A very important question. Did you really think breaking into the most secure building in all of Thunderhive would be that easy? <laughs> I am insulted. First of all, you do realize that Thunderhive was deemed a neutral zone for piracy by the sacred decrees of the Pirate King himself, right? No, I suppose you wouldn't, since you aren't from around here. I don't need to read your mind to know that, of course. I can tell just by looking at you that you aren't exactly fully human. You have quite a few other species mixed into your DNA. I detect hints of Cirrhuses, Morval, and a little ancient apparent as well. How curious. Either you're the result of one very interesting evening, or... Yeah. 
Yes, you're the result of an experiment. <laughs> How very, very enticing. Dr. Arkov Sosha, no doubt, was your mother, thereby making your name... <sighs> How unfortunate. Yes, that makes sense. Most scientists lack the imagination to come up with a good name. Look at Soul 2, for example. The glorious star commander of the Landstar appeared to fall to New Pangaea from the star Soul 2. Oh, such an ugly name. And don't even get me started on New Pangaea. I must digress. To answer all your questions as quickly and efficiently as possible. Yes, I know why you're here. I know who sent you, and I don't see how this plan of yours could have ever worked out. You have no skills in breaking and entering, let alone tactical espionage. It's a miracle you even got out of the Macbeth with your own life, let alone with your little friend Calamos. Honestly, nothing about this plan makes sense. Doesn't Yagwin realize that attempting to send someone to break into InfoVault will severely damage his reputation? He has essentially thrown away his status in Thunderhive. He'll be shunned by the others. The Flashout Pirates will probably disband, and Black Epsilon would become the unquestionable leading faction. As far as I'm concerned, he's thrown his life away as well as everything he's ever worked for, for no reason. <laughs> Much like his father, I suppose. <laughs> nice try, but I caught that little thought of yours just before you pushed it away. No, just because he's thrown his life away doesn't mean I'm going to give you any freebies. Especially when the Pirate King himself asked me never to tell. Besides, why would I want Forks back? With him gone, a lot more business opportunities have arisen. I've become the most successful man in Thunderhive. Black Epsilon may have political power, but I can twist their arm any way I wish. Their power is mine. No one else in Thunderhive can say that. Also, you do realize that little Rift Rider suit of yours, the one you've been tasked with delivering to Captain Forks, it could send him even further away. Even if he succeeds, what makes you so sure he'll come back to this galaxy? He wasn't born here, you know. This place was not his true home. On top of that, he's lost a lot of friends here. Grips, Everest, so many painful memories. Of course, Yarguin doesn't know anything about this now, does he? In any other situation, I'd ask you to strike a deal with me, but honestly, there's nothing that I want from you. Anything I do want is in your mind, and I can just simply take it. So, what shall I do with the rest of you? Master! Dredge, I told you never to bother me. Flashheart pirates, pillage and plunder. Is that... Yarguin? What is the meaning of... Oh, he had me distracted. You're mere decoy fodder. Hey, Switchfang, I'd like to make a withdrawal. Now give me back my crew member. <laughs> The noise from all these panicking minds. I'm completely unfocused. You. I'll deal with you later. Sir, they're gonna blow up the archive. Oh, I've got to get back into focus. Must pay attention. Oh, so hot. All these minds screaming. So, here you are at last. <sighs> Tell me, what will you do when this is all over? What was her plan? That's all you've known, isn't it?
Oh, hello again. It's good to... <laughs> see you? <laughs> Vision's been teaching me about what humans find funny. Did I... Did I do it right? What? Uh, oh, oh no. I, I, I still can't see. But Vision's been teaching me how to see without my eyes. By using and concentrating on my other senses. It's actually quite a simple concept to grasp. I'm kind of embarrassed I didn't get it sooner. You won't tell anyone, will you? Huh. Thank you. You really are my closest friend. I really don't know what I'd do without you. I'd probably be a carcass on the back of Mortalis Hold. Uh, sorry. That was morbid. So, the point is... Thank you. Really. If you ever need anything, just say. I want to return the favor. It doesn't sit right with me not being able to pay you back. So don't hesitate to ask, okay? Oh, I think I can hear Vision coming. It's so weird hearing everyone's distinct walks. Ah, good. You're both here. Yargwin is about to. Attention, everyone. We're having a meeting in the mess hall. I hope to answer a bunch of very serious questions and concerns, so be sure to show up. Yargwin out. <laughs> ah, so close. But yes, I'm afraid we must go. Everything alright with you, Kalamos? Yep, I'm ready to go. Very well, let's go. Stay close, though. I haven't properly trained you to handle crowds quite yet. Oh, okay, good idea. You're more than welcome to tag along, too. Let's go. Ah, there you are. Leah, hi! Curious. You can see me? In a manner of speaking, he can. Yes. How fascinating. Will you be joining us in the mess hall? Yes and no. I will be in the mess hall, but I can't join you there. I'm helping Yarguin with his demonstrations. Demonstrations? W what kind of demonstrations? It's a little difficult to explain without going into full detail. You'll just have to wait and see for now. Oh. All right, then. I won't be far, don't worry. I... I wasn't worried! <laughs> you really are quite the morale booster, you know, Calamos. What? I'm only teasing. Uh, looks like I'm still not immune to being teased. Is his plan... what I think it is? Most likely. I, I see. I can't help but worry about a few things. I know that feeling well. What are you guys talking about? Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Calamos. We're just concerned for the sanity of some of the crew. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? We'll be sure to let you know, okay? Okay. I'd better go. B bye Good luck, Lear. But she couldn't have been less bothered by it. Man, she was a totally useless crash down. Anyway, that's how I lost my fourth girl. I regret telling you anything about my ex. Alright, so, we all here? All 42 crew members accounted for, Captain. <sighs> Good, excellent. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you all know how proud I am to have you all here today. Really, you guys are the most trusted members of the Flashheart Pirates, and I couldn't ask for a better crew to walk through the plains of hell with me. <sighs> Okay, now that I'm done stroking your egos, I'm sure you all have a ton of questions about why you're all here right now. Well, I'd like to start with a little history lesson. First image, Leah. Thanks. This is Hoag's object. As you can see, the ring here is where all modern society is located, no big surprise. It's all linked together by that strange hyperspace ring, Rat Race. Now, we can't use Rat Race because it's owned by Trenforia, and they scan every single person entering to detect ID as well as a species of origin for security purposes. We may or may not have had a hand in that. Needless to say, because we're criminals to Trenforia, we'll be arrested and sent to Alcatraz immediately. Now, here's the fun bit. So we all know that Rat Race is the hyperspace ring that goes around Hoag's object, right? But what no one talks about is what's in the middle. As far as we've been told, everything else is dead space. However, I have reason to believe that that's a big lie. The reason being that there are markers zoning off everything at a certain distance away from the main ring. 
No government-sanctioned ship dares go anywhere near that area. So then I got to asking myself, hey, we're a band of merry lawbreakers, why don't we do it? Who's gonna stop us? Everyone else is too scared to bother. Uh, hey Yagwin. Not to sound condescending or anything, uh, but did you really throw away your rep on Thunderhive and cash in all your favors just to go on a high-energy space road trip? What? Oh, <laughs> forgive me. I forgot to mention that I know where Captain Forks is. <gasps> Suppose I should have opened with that, huh? Yes, Captain. Yes, you should have. Um, I'm sorry, but who's Captain Forks? I'm, I'm a bit lost. Captain Forks is the true Pirate King, the leader of all of Thunderhive. Fifteen years ago, he went missing after Thunderhive was massacred. Not much else is known about where he went. But how did you find this information, Yargwin? I'm surprised you don't know. Turns out our boy Switchfang had a location file stored in Fork's personal deposit box. <laughs> Isn't that a felony? Oh, what? Breaking into someone's personal belongings? Yeah, but... Well, we're pirates. What did you expect? Besides, if it means getting Forks back, I'd say it's worth it. Look, I don't have to tell you that there's a power struggle in Thunderhive, and it's getting strugglier. Did he just invent a word? He does that. If it gets much worse, life in Thunderhive, the very little peace that we've established there, it's all gonna disappear. Forks kept people like Switchfang and Mortalis in check. We've got to get him back. Besides, I know a few people here who would really want to see him again, myself included. Don't we at least deserve some kind of closure to what happened to him? Why he left us? We can get an answer to that now. The data on this file states that he flew through the Odyssey Passage. You know, that mythical route that everyone thought didn't exist? Well, the location to that place is here too. This is all very enticing, Yargwin. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Hoag's object is light years long. It could take close to a hundred years to get across. Don't you remember that most of our ancestors were on ice during that whole journey or so the story goes? Actually, I'm glad you brought that up. We have a secret weapon. Come on out. Father can guide us, Yagwin, are you being overdramatic again, boy? You kids and your flares these days, you think you know everything, don't you? That's Lord Hartburn himself. Glad you could make it, old man. Eh, hey, shut up, Yargwin. You knew the whole time I was behind that door. You just wanted a dramatic entrance. And the name's Hearth. I haven't gone by Hearthburn in years. Yargwin, you can't possibly mean to- Why not? He's made the journey before. Sure, he may be a little older, but I think he can still do it. Besides, our ship is nowhere near as big as the Landlighter. Should be a piece of cake for him. I really do hate being left out of this. What? what who is this? What's going on? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Calamos. Lord Heartburn was a respected member of Forks' crew back in the day. He had this power. It, it's hard to explain, but basically, he could make any spacefaring vessel travel at several times the speed of light. But it's a really risky move, Yargwin. Even if you're right, we don't know what conditions we'll all be in when we've made the first jump. Now come on, where's your sense of adventure? More like sense of suicide. Yargwin, I know what our engines can take thanks to you no less. I am almost assured they can't handle heartburn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Baynar on this, Yargwin. This is really crazy. Hey, 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 listen. You're all right. This is a crazy plan. It's stupid and ridiculous, and there's no way it should ever work. But we've done crazier, haven't we? I mean, remember the raid on Ericles when we tried to break into the data vault to change the Trenforia criminal records? We were almost murdered by the Kreemongers. And yeah, sure, maybe we failed, but we lived! What I'm saying is that this is our only shot. We go back to Thunderhive, and we'll never get the opportunity to see Forks again. Switchfang will confiscate the file and probably delete it just to remove all stains from his precious company. So, let's just do it. If not for Forks, or for me, then for old time's sake. Come on, who's with me? You know, Yargwin, there's something I've always wanted to say to you. I've never liked you. You're too good at convincing me. And once again, you proved me right. Count me in. I too find it hard to say no to you, Yargwin. I knew you were going to go alone if no one joined, so I was going to go with you either way. <laughs> Yargwin, wherever you go, you will always need us. 
So yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> you guys are the best crew a dirtbag like me could ask for. Right, well, take your stations everyone. Let's get the show on the road. Captain. Oh, uh, yes, Leah? You're receiving a hail. Is that so? Patch it through. Yagwin. Yagwin, can you hear me? Morty, it's been too long. We should do lunch sometime. Do you do a little catching up and maybe play some checkers? Yagwin, stop. I know what you're doing, and I know why you're doing it. Please, if you really still care about what's happening, don't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mortalis. You know I can't do that. You know what will happen if you leave, right? Yeah, I do. <sighs> you, you want this this badly? Without a doubt. Can, can I at least have Black Sheffield back? Oh, uh, what's that? You're breaking up. Can't quite hear you. Yagwin, this is serious. This is my ship. I had it commissioned Gotta go. to be rebuilt. Give it back. Captain? We have 48 hours before they find us. Let's make every second count, guys. You all know what you need to do. Hey, you need to go see him. I can tell he's hurting. Call it a hunch, or part of my future sight. But I think you'll do him some good in this situation. Jeez, I guess I forgot to lock my door. Welcome to my ready room. Do you like it? A lot of memories in here. Hey. You look, uh... Disgruntled. <laughs> look at me using big words. What's up? <laughs> you know what you need? A nice big kiss. Come on. Give me a... Ow! <laughs> there you are. Feel better? No? What's... what's wrong? Oh, you wanted to know more about the switchfang job. Yeah, I knew you were gonna get captured. You have to understand, I needed you to take the heat off the rest of us so we could get the jump on switchfang. And I must say, you played your part as the distraction wonderfully, sweetheart. <laughs> huh? Uh, w well, yeah, there was always the risk of it, but I knew he wasn't going to hurt you. I wouldn't let him anyway. And obviously I couldn't tell you the plan since he would have read your mind. No, 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 you're, you're right. It was unfair of me to do that to you. You trusted me and I... I took advantage of that. I won't do it again. I promise. Hmm. Oh, I was just singing a song that Forks used to sing to us as kids. Forgot some of the words, but uh, the rhythm is still clear in my mind. <laughs> Good times. I miss those days. Oh, <laughs> I guess I never really told you about that in full, huh? Well, we got some time. Basically, Forks named me and two of my friends the Three Musketeers because we were so close and always getting into hijinks. Me, Morty, and one other. That one other was a guy named Belthurst. <sighs> Miss that guy. Why haven't you met him? <laughs> well, the thing is, he, uh... He died after the attack on Thunderhive. He was left in charge at the time, while the rest of us were on an away mission. It's believed he died a hero, fending off the Kree mongers of Trenforia. It's crazy. It feels like it was just yesterday I was playing tag with Morty and Bell. We did everything together. We even went through the spacefarer's training on board the Landlighter together. <laughs> Belthurst rose up the ranks a lot faster than Morty or I ever did. And it was obvious as to the reason why. He was always good at what he did. No powers, but none of that seemed to stop him. He became Fork's right hand, actually. 
Everyone trusted him. That's why, before the events of 15 years ago, Forks left Belthurst to guard Thunderhive during our away mission. We were delivering supplies, I think. Anyway, when we got back, well... <laughs> it was like walking into an apocalypse in, in the digitizer pot. Fire and blood everywhere you looked. The smell. <laughs> the sound. Except it felt more... real. <laughs> when we found Bell, he was... burnt to a crisp, barely hanging on to life as if he forced himself to live just long enough to tell us what happened. He wasn't just a friend to us. He was a friend to every one of the humor altars. That's why he was second in command to Forks. He was loyal to Thunderhive, and he knew what it took to be a leader. <laughs> the last thing he said to us is how he felt he let us all down. No, we told him. We let him down. I wish... I know things can't go back to the way they were, but... If we can at least have peace again... It would be enough. <laughs> Sorry for going on about it. <laughs> it's probably boring you to hear this old man talk about something that happened years ago, right? <laughs> Thanks for letting me vent. Anyway, it's all in the past. <laughs> you excited for the mission? <laughs> yeah, I am too. <laughs> huh? Worried? <laughs> me? <laughs> Why would I be worried? You don't have to worry about me. I... 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 I, I can take care of everything. No, I'm... I'm fine. I... J just... I... Hey! <laughs> what are you doing that for? <laughs> I want you to stop. <laughs> well, well, uh... No. No. Please don't stop. Don't... Don't leave me. I... I don't want to be alone again. I don't want to be left alone. What's wrong with me? I, I have to be stronger. For them. I, I need to, to give them something to believe in. I need to... I need to be strong. No, please. I... I, I don't want the pity. If I get pity, then it's a sign they're disappointed. <laughs> Lear does his best to show that he's not, but it's no secret that I'm letting him down. <laughs> he's upset with me. I I just know it. He's disappointed. I'm sure of it. Ow! <laughs> hey, jeez, it's not a good time for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> How would you know they aren't upset with me? You... you sure of that? I'm... I'm so used to signs of affection being an act of pity. I... I know I'm not the smartest, or the strongest, or... or even the most powerful. I... I swear, every time I see the damage Mortalis is capable of doing, I find it both horrifying and yet kind of inspiring, you know? Yes, it's terrible as to what he does, but... He's able to convince people to do it so easily. And not only that, but with passion. <laughs> he was always meant to be the leader. <laughs> oh, come on. You're just saying that. You can't possibly tell me that... Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I do believe in my cause. <laughs> You're right, of course. I shouldn't compare myself to him. It's just... kind of hard not to. I should focus on what I want, though. And what I want is to find Forks. I want closure. I want him to know that what he's done... 
to his people, to me, it's further hurting us. But more importantly, I just want to know why. Why would he leave us? I have to know. I just wish things could go back to the way they were. <laughs> Everything was so much simpler. Yes, we were struggling, but we were surviving. And now we're slowly dying. Because despite my best efforts, I'm a crap leader. <laughs> I just didn't want to leave it in the hands of Mortalis. Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I shouldn't have left my rep in ruins before I left. Well, I have no choice now. I need to find him. I've risked everything I have to find him. And I'll be damned if I don't see this through. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for being with me. You really didn't have to do this, you know. Thanks for that. I guess I really was suffering a lot more than I realized. A captain takes care of his crew. But who takes care of me? Maybe... Maybe that person could be you. <laughs> You'll think about it? <laughs> well, either way, thanks. I don't deserve this. No, really, I don't. I've hurt too many people to deserve it. Anyway, there is actually something I wanted to ask you. It's, uh, probably something I should have asked a long time ago. <laughs> About that message you have for Forks. Um, would you mind telling me what it is? Yarguin? Uh, oh, <laughs> Vision. It's good to see you. What's, uh, <clears throat> what's, uh, what's up? I need to talk to you in private about something. It's important. R right. Hey, you, uh, you don't mind giving us some privacy, do you? <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Especially if I have you around to clear my head. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, I have a request of you. Could you go find Calamos and bring him to my room? I'll join you shortly. Great. See you soon. All right, Vision. What's going on? You're a good person. Hey, maybe one day you want to join my crew? Good. Was everything okay with you and Yagwin? You know, I think Yagwin is pretty annoying sometimes, but he's still a good person. He's given me so much, and not just physical things, but a family more or less too. I'm glad you're a part of that. Oh, I, I think I can hear Vision coming. Strange. I think he's brought someone with him. Ah, there you are. Thanks for waiting so patiently. And I see you've brought Calamos with you. Thanks for doing that. You brought Yagwin too? Yo. Why are we all here, Vision? Everyone, please take a seat. I have some concerns and I need all of you here for this. I want you two to join me in a sort of... ritual. Ritual? What kind of ritual? Well, it's a bit difficult to explain. You see, my power is a chaotic one. It allows me to look into the future to see what will happen. But it isn't always accurate. I see multiple futures from multiple timelines, and I can't always tell which one I'm in. Or at least, I couldn't. 
Recently, I've gained access to someone who can help me through a link in my mind. I can take people there, so I want you and Calamos to help me. Why us? Well, I need to talk to this person about something important. Something that may happen on our little adventure through the galaxy. I want you to be there, Calamos, because, and I'm not going to point fingers here, but after Yargwin's speech, I realized you've been left out of the conversation. I want to give you the opportunity, as my friend, to really be a part of this. I've brought you here for good reason. So, do you both trust me? Oh, well, yes. Thanks, I guess. Okay, but why is Yargwin here? Hey. Yargwin is one of, if not the best people I know to help pull us out of this mind link. I'm not quite sure how he does it exactly. It's kind of freaky, all things considered. Yeah, I have my moments. Now, are we ready? Um, I think so. Alright. Both of you take a seat directly across from each other, and then we'll begin. Yargwin, you may leave now. I just wanted you to know what we were doing. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. How long do you think you'll be? Hmm. Time passes differently, and we're also on the clock. Let's say... Give us as much time as you can. Alright then, see you in 48. 48 hours?! I'll just explain that later. But for now, trust me. We'll need it. I'm... a little scared now. You have nothing to fear, Calamos. I'll make sure of that. Oh, okay. Now, I want you to both open your eyes as wide as you can. You can blink. Just keep them wide open. Here we go. Your reign is here. here. I will do right by you. I promise. Your is anyone out there? Clean. You are hereby banished to the realm of insanity. Help me save Ventum. Do not forget, he left us for nothing. <sighs> Whoa! What was that? Ah, there you are. I was worried for a second that you wouldn't make it. The beings that live here collect their favorite moments in time and bottle them here. It's easy to get lost in them. What? What? But... What? I... I can see? Welcome to the little pocket just outside of Untempora. As I imagine, you must have a million questions. Let's start with the obvious. Because Untempora, including where we are, exists outside of space, time, and all laws of physics both known and unknown, things like eyes aren't necessarily required for sight. I don't think I fully understand, but okay. It doesn't make much more sense than this, I'm afraid. Ah, there you are. It's been far too long. Indeed, but I didn't expect you to show with company. Um, hi. Oh, I'm so sorry. These are my friends. I hope you don't mind me bringing them here. Not at all. I rarely get visitors, so I welcome any and all into this place. Welcome to my little home here in the outskirts of Untempera. I am the sane conscious of Xeranthros, but you may call me Sanity. Everyone does. It is nice to meet you. Oh, uh, my name is Calamos. Calamos, you say? Hmm. I've heard that name from somewhere before. I'm probably unrelated, don't worry. And you are? Ah, now that name I do recognize. I assume you're related to the illustrious Dr. Arkov Sosha, hmm? The rediscoverer of the Tesseract Dimension herself. Yes, I thought as much. Well, Vision, you've certainly brought some colorful characters to my neck of the wood, so to speak, hmm? But I must ask for what purpose? I assume this is no social call? Forgive me, Sanity. But they are here for... Support, you could say. I... I keep seeing something in my future. And I fear what you might say will be... Upsetting. Ah, so you've seen your death, haven't you? I don't know what I saw. I would not necessarily call it death. All I know is that I can't see beyond a certain point, and that point is now closer to the present than ever before. I see. And you came to me because you wanted me to confirm that this was, in fact, your demise. 
I've scoured other timelines, and all the other outcomes are at least somewhat similar. At some point in my future, I see nothing. And beyond it, something... cold. Very cold. P please I've become endlessly paranoid. You have no idea what it's like. It's one thing to know exactly when and how you're going to die, but for me, everything is so unknown. Why was I given this power if it doesn't even work properly? Vision. P please, Sanity. Tell me, is this it? Am I going to die soon? Oh, Vision. Do you know how many timelines there are in this universe? An impossible number. And yet, with each action taken, an even more impossible amount of timelines are created. Within a fraction of a second, time splits in an impossible array of directions, not just from one decision, but from the billions made in every single moment. Now, let me ask you this. How many versions of you do you think chose to have this conversation with me, hmm? How many of them are talking to me right now? Uh, I... I don't know. Just like before, an impossible amount. An undefined amount. If I told all of you that yes, you do in fact die soon, it would only be true for a small fraction of you. Uh, oh, so there really is no way for you to tell? Sadly not. But what I will say is this, whatever happens when that point in your life is reached, it will be a very important day. In some cases, just for you, in others, possibly for the rest of time. So make sure that when that day comes, regardless of whatever you see or believe, do what you feel comes naturally. That is the best that anyone in your position can truly do. Well... Will I ever see you again? <laughs> I would say that is entirely up to you, my friend. Although I would advise against using your powers for now. What? But- I know your powers have proven useful and have carved and defined you your whole life. But if it causes you much a distress as this, you may be better off living your life in the moment and enjoying what happiness you truly have. We only have one lifetime, Vision. And a human lifetime is surprisingly short, so it is best you do not waste yours. Thank you, Sanity. You're welcome, Vision. And good luck, my friend. I just wish... Uh, oh, that would be Yargwin. Whoa! That's... weird. Get used to that. Not just in here, but in general. Life is funny that way. W well, I... I guess this is it. We're getting pulled back. Goodbye, Vision. And good luck to all of you. Oh, and Calamos. Oh, um, yes? I just remembered. Whatever you do, don't touch the... Oh, well, never mind. He'll figure it out, I'm sure. What? Oh, Yagwin! Sanity was trying to tell me something! Sanity? <laughs> the way you're talking, Cal, you sound far from sane. Well, whatever. <laughs> Take off is in two hours, guys. Better get ready. Two hours? We, what? We, we still had a whole other day! You see? Time moves around sporadically in that place. We're lucky Yargwin is able to pull us out at all, actually. What does he even do to get us out of that? From his perspective, he's just waking us up from a long nap. I don't even think he knows what he's doing. Mm. Hey, Vision? I just wanted you to know that you're really important to me. I'm sorry I didn't know you were suffering so much. If you really are going to die, I want to spend as much time with you as I can. Thank you, Kalamos. If... if this is it for me, I'm going to make sure I enjoy it as best I can. And you... thanks for joining me. I imagine your initial impressions of me were probably pretty bad when I took in you two on Thunderhive. I thank you for looking past that for my sake. Now, whether this is my last journey with the Flashheart Pirates or not, let's do our best.
You want me to get along with everyone? <laughs> it's a nice sentiment, but it won't happen. I've seen what your kind are capable of. Yagwin's personal log, entry 274. We've been traveling through Hoag's object for about two weeks now. Up until this point, everything had gone smoothly. Heartburn is still in a stable condition, and we've made sure to regulate his celsium intake, so he's not getting any acid reflux from his power, but he also won't be dying on us anytime soon. The problem is we've had to slow down due to the temporal field, a vast sphere-like area that encircles the center of the galaxy that's comprised of rifts in space and time. What these things are capable of is beyond me, and I don't want to find out, but we have no choice but to press on. We found a familiar planet out here too, Ankana. This planet was wiped clean of life by Mortalis. Some of my crew, who used to work under Mortalis at the time, are visibly uncomfortable with its appearance. As it turns out, this is actually a version of Ankana from an alternate timeline. One where the original species was not subjugated to a life of slavery and servitude to Trinforia, but also one where the planet and its people are repeating time inside one of the temporal rifts. Needless to say, we need to move on. Additional. As we prepared to leave Ankana, Leah told me that the security sensors went off, which means something boarded the ship. This thing turns out to be a Tanaki from Ankana, but from which one, I'm not so sure. After attacking multiple crew members, we finally managed to capture it in a moment of hesitation when it saw Kalamos. I have no idea why this happened, but I'm not going to look a gift sword in the mouth. A uh, small edit here, I've just been told by Leah that it's gift horse and not gift sword. My bad. Moving on. The Tanaki isn't talking, so I've invited Kalamos to come to the brig with me to further investigate the matter. I also figured he'd want to meet another life form besides a human one anyway. So, maybe Kalamos can get a fresh perspective. No doubt he'll bring our mutual friend. Who knows, the Tanaki may have an interesting reaction to that as well. End lock. Well, what a surprise. You're both here. Well, we're friends. Of course we'd come together. Besides, you called us. Friends, huh? <laughs> Just friends? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. Lover boy. What did you say? I said, are you both ready? Oh, um, yes. You're, you're ready to go too, right? I should say, I can't come in with you, but I will be listening in, so I'll know if something's up, okay? Good. Bruises will get the door for you. Good luck in there. Uh, hello. I'm here You're to here to probe me for information, no doubt. That human scum couldn't do it himself, so he sends in his own alien slaves to do it for him? What? No, he's our friend! <laughs> Is that what they told you? <laughs> Poor thing. You'll be dumped out of an airlock at the first sign of trouble. Just you wait. Hey! Stop talking like that! Captain Yagun has done more for me than anyone else ever has in a long time! I won't have you talking bad about him like that. What are you gonna do about it? Better yet, what can you do? I can tell that you're blind. What do they do to you? Keep you around to make you cry so they can leech off with your tears? What? Do you oblige them because it's all you'll be good for? S stop it. Your kind are dead, and they are to blame. How can you ally yourself with these vile creatures? Stop it! <laughs> And you, what even are you? One of their experiments? A pet project to transform us into some kind of abomination? They probably have some kind of attachment to you. Oh, so you're mostly human, are you? <laughs> mostly horrifying, more like. Is this seriously the best your captain can do? A blind child and a walking reject? You may be offended, but I'm the one who's trapped. As soon as I get out of these bonds, I'll put all of you out of your misery. I'd be doing the galaxy a favor. 
what do I want? I want you and your human filth gone. I want my home back. And I want you to leave that planet you're orbiting alone and never speak of what you saw. The best way to do that is to kill you. I'd say it's nothing personal, but I think the humans out there listening in on our conversation realize that this is very, very personal. Well, that's a lot to process. Don't worry about Calamos. I've asked Vision to go and see him. I'd like you to stay here, actually, and help me if that's okay. No doubt you have some questions of your own. Well, let's start from the top. Our prisoner here is a Tanaki. A long time ago, the Tanaki were slaves to Trenforia. If you want the whole history on them, talk to Lyra over there. Hello. Her hatred for us is a bit confusing to me. If she comes from the alternate Ankana, she should know that we didn't cause that. Alternatively, Captain, if she comes from our Ankana, she is the last of her kind. Mortalis has seen to that. I think it's safe to assume that she comes from our version of Ankana, and that she saw the alternate version and is trying to preserve its people. Yeah. <sighs> she has every reason to be vengeful towards us. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone this angry at everything since... Mortalis, Captain. Vengeance breeds vengeance. Something Fork said to me once. Guess it's pretty obvious she's from our Ankana then. Well, we can't just let her go. She'll hunt us down again. And we can't keep her here. I mean, what would we do with her? Ugh. I don't know. Leah, what should I do? The logical and quickest solution, Captain, is to kill her. Don't be ridiculous, Leah. We're not doing that. Then what should we do? I don't know. Maybe we could render her unconscious, throw her out an airlock? What? Tanaki can survive in space. First of all, how the hell do you know that? And second, how will we render her unconscious? And third, what if she decides to come after us again? We can't exactly move fast enough to get away thanks to the temporal field. First, uh, I don't know. Second, you're right. And third, you're right. Ugh, oh, I hate this. How the hell did Forks make decisions like this every day? What I'd give for a little bit of that insane calm he had. Parameters adjusted. Captain, I believe I have an idea that meets your specifications. Oh yeah? What's that? Ah, so here we are again. <laughs> Don't be shy now. I know you can talk. Consider it a hollow victory, human. I consider it a great victory, actually. Means I know you can understand what I'm saying. Especially since I want you to understand my little dilemma. Hm. You see, I can't just let you go because you'll track us down again and I can't let you stay here either. You're too dangerous to have around. So what do you think I should do? You'll have to kill me. <laughs> That's what he said. What? Never mind. I'm not in the business of killing, so I'm not going to kill you. How noble of you. So, what will you do, Captain? What will you do? Well, obviously, I'd do what any sane captain would do. I'm gonna make you join the crew. Uh, excuse me? Your shift starts at noon, which means you're late. How very lazy of you. We'll let you off the hook this time, but next time there will be consequences. Are you insane? Quite the opposite. I'm dead serious. Everyone on this ship works for what they eat. I hold myself to the same standards, and I expect you to do the same. I'm not going to have you lazily lying around the brig and eating up all the spare rations during this voyage. I... I think I'd rather be dead. Too bad. This is your life now. You're on my crew, and that's final. Oh, and I should say, if you step one foot out of line, like say, oh, I don't know, making Calamos cry again, I'll really make you wish you were dead. Do we have an understanding? You would put me back into a life of servitude? To you? A human? No, not servitude. Family. Community. You may not see it yet, but this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to you. What's stopping me from killing all of you the second you release me? <laughs> Please. These aren't your average humans we're talking about. These are space pirates. You haven't even killed one of us since you've been here. <sighs> so, you gonna play nice? Or not? <sighs> <laughs> that's what I thought. 
Bruises, go ahead and remove the restraints. <laughs> Guess your plan worked after all, Lip. How dare you make a mockery of me! <clears throat> well, so much for playing nice. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> pretty good. But how do you handle this? What? Did you just lick me? Ah! Yep. Uh, don't freak out. My tongue heals wounds. Judging by your reaction, you hated it. <laughs> Tell you what, stay on good terms with me, and I won't lick you again. Sound good? Now, up you get. So what's your name? Wh what? A captain knows the name of all of his crewmates. So we'll ask you again. What's your name? <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's Condra. Okay? It's... Condra. Very good. Condra, welcome to the crew. You are to report to my right hand here for your tasks. Dismissed. Leah, keep an eye on her. Make sure she stays busy. Aye, Captain. Oh, hey. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't worry. We'll make sure she doesn't cause any trouble. You trust me, right? <laughs> Come on, let's go find Calamus and Vision. I think I need a break from all this. I've never met someone who would openly accept me, after giving you such a hostile greeting as well. <laughs> a glass bottle, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty silly looking back. I'm not even sure if it was glass. Still, I was terrified at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Still, I guess you could say you were armed and dangerous, eh, Calamus? Uh, what? Oh! <laughs> Yardwin, are you making dad jokes again? Uh, maybe I am. Don't tell me you've come to stop me now. Actually, I came here to tell you about that side project Lord Harper brought on board. Oh uh, yeah, wait, what? What side project? He didn't tell you? He was working on a teleportation device. Oh, yes, you mean the visitor project? Yeah, it's about to enter the testing phase. Oh, no way, that's incredible! I assume you'll want to see it then? Well, n no, I'm kinda comfortable right here. Hey, what about you? If you're not doing anything, would you mind going to have a look at it for me? Ah, come on, please! I really don't want to get up right now. Ah, oh, your valor will be noted in the ship's logs. I'll tell stories to my grandkids about you. <laughs> Seriously, though, thank you. Um, c can I join you? Well, I don't really get to explore the ship too much. Also, Vision was telling me how Lord Hartburn's power works. I really want to know more about his physiology. Don't look at me. If you want to take him with you, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. So, what do you say? Can I come? Oh, I can? Oh, thank you. I'm looking forward to meeting Lord Hartburn. Just... Could you stay close to me? New people are still kind of difficult for me. Oh, thanks again. All right, let's get going. Have fun, you two. <laughs> Be safe out there, Calamos. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, Yargwin, I've come to notice that you like to hide how you feel a lot. I'm um, okay. First of all, ouch. <laughs> Achilles, and welcome back to the Escape Pod. I'm your host, Tide Houseman, and today we've got Leah with us on the show. 
to discuss the situation we have with these temporal whatever they are. Blair, how you doing? I'm feeling quite functional. Thank you for having me. Uh, of course. Now, the first thing many of the listeners are curious about is, uh, the issue of safety around these, uh... Temporal anomalies? Yeah, thanks. So, tell me, what should we do if we encounter one? Well, first we must clarify that these anomalies can be quite large. Some are as large as planets, or even larger. On top of that, some can be as small as amoeba and literally invisible to the naked eye. For all the others, it is ideal to be as far away as possible. Don't touch the rifts. Don't even go near them. They are quite capable. What's the problem now? You spray the rag and you wipe down the panel. What's wrong with the way I'm doing it? If you spray the panel, you could cause a short circuit. Last thing we want is to call engineering and tell them we need new tech. So get it right. <sighs> all right. Jeez. Get off my back about it already. Uh, here. What's this? What? Ever seen chocolate before? No. I've never heard of it. Uh, here. Try some. Always makes me feel better. Hmm? Well? It's good. Really good. C can I have some more? <laughs> Finish your work here and go back to your quarters. I'll stop by with some D more. Did you see me? Oh, phew. I... I don't want to be a coward, but she really scares me. Ah, we're here. I'm really excited and a, a bit scared. Guess I'm still not confident about meeting new people. Sorry, I don't mean to delay you. Uh, come on, let's go. Whoa, what the? Whoa, that was a close one. Man, what even are those things? And what are you looking at, cutie? Actually, better question. What are you? You don't look like any Huma Alter I've ever seen before. You got a name? That's your name? Really? <laughs> no, no, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that it reminds me of someone I used to know is all. Well, someone my captain knew quite well, actually. Whoa! Check that out! What is that? Some kind of weird space thing? <laughs> Look, it's all squishy and stuff. <laughs> squishy, squishy. What's it doing down here, though? Not exactly an ideal environment for it, I feel. Uh-oh, it's making a noise. Uh, maybe it's crying. Maybe if I... Aw, <laughs> there we go. You like that, don't you, buddy? It's all right. Uncle Heartburn is here for you. Hey, is this yours? Because if not, I'm keeping it. I'm attached now. There's nothing you can do about it. So, where are we anyway? Oh. Uh old man. Whoa! Who are you? You're massive! Lord Heartburn. Name's Heartburn, yeah, but Lord? Just Heartburn is fine, thanks. Where's that rift? And why are you here? Ah, uh, sorry. I suppose we haven't talked much. I'm not much of a talker. My name is Bruises. I'm... well... I guess I was the old man's caretaker, but now that he's young, well, I guess we'll see what happens. But why are you here? You came in place of Yarguin to see the visitor project with Calamus? Well, it's finished, but we haven't tested it. We were distracted by a time rift that appeared down here. Oh yeah, I saw that! It went right for you, didn't it? Good thing I pulled you out of the way. What are you holding? I don't know. Can I see it? No, it's mine! Is that... a baby? Wait, where's Calamos? Don't look at me! I don't know anything. I just got here. The old man is young, Calamos is missing, and there's a strange alien here for some reason. I... Don't think I have the head for this. 
It would probably be best if you took the baby to Yagun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not giving my baby to anyone! I even named him! I'm gonna call you Squishy. No, wait! Bobby! Because his head bobs up and down when I squish! Lord Heartburn, this is serious. As your caretaker, I need to look out for you. And you don't know where that alien has been. I don't care! I don't recall ever having a caretaker. And don't call me Lord! Whatever this thing is, it's mine now, and I'm not leaving it. Okay, fine. You go to Yagun too. Watch out for the old man for me, okay? Really, he's... he's important to me. Take this as well. It's the visitor project. It hasn't been tested, but I think Yagun will want it. Be safe. I'll... I'll be right here. See ya! Weirdo. Whoa, what the heck? It's that time rift thing again. Wait, that bruises guy kept calling me an old man. Does that mean... Is this my future? Scared? Not really. I'm more surprised I lived so long. I always thought I'd be the first to go. Captain Forks has me use my power a lot. What is my power exactly? Well, it's a bit weird, but basically I can use my blood as a recyclable fuel for ships. The pressure of which generates enough energy to move faster than light. Kind of like a hydroelectric dam, except without the faster than light thing. Or the use of water. Make sense? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Kind of hard to explain, too. Oh, whoa! Okay. Wasn't there only one rift before? I'm counting like six right now. Careful, don't get too close. Whoa. Phew. Well, that could have gone worse. Wait. We aren't going that way, are we? One of those rift things went down there. Okay, well, we better be careful. I don't see anything yet. How about you? Whoa, stop! Someone's coming. Hey! Who's there? I warn you, I'm armed with a squishy, and I'm not afraid to use it! Uh, um, we come in peace? Oh, okay, they come in peace. Hey! Whoa! <clears throat> Is that Hotburn? Man, I must be pretty popular in the future. Everyone seems to know me. You're here too. Uh, where's Calamus? Is... is that him there? It's a baby octopoid. If I was to hazard a guess, I'd say yes. That's most definitely Calamus. You okay, old man? You sound like you're dying. <laughs> That's ironic to hear coming from you. <coughs> easy, Arguin. Take it easy. Sorry. Hey, come here for a second. Listen. There isn't a lot of time to explain, but basically, my mind is from the future. The Hercules is currently trapped in a temporal rift. It's aging people up and down. I've already sent Leah a message, told him to alert the rest of the crew. My own fault, really. I should have been at the helm. Instead of, I decided to- Stop being so hard on yourself. You did amazing. You always do. We wouldn't be with you on this journey if we thought you didn't care. <sighs> Thank you, Vision. I... I really appreciate you. There you go again. You said that to me at least a dozen times. It's like you're leaving me or something. No, I'm not leaving, Vision. <laughs> you are. In about five seconds, you're going to save my life, and I'll never see you again. What are you talking about? Huh? Jargon, look out! Whoa, easy there, old man. Where'd the other guy go? He just straight up disappeared. <clears throat> Sadly, even I don't know. <coughs> Damn it, I'm gonna miss him. But this is no time to mourn. I need you to do something for me. Do you have that visitor project? <laughs> of course you do. Let me see it. I spent a lot of time 
Memorizing the details of this day, the ship's black box was able to keep a log of everything that happened. <coughs> Listen, a lot of things may have happened or will happen, but I'll always do my best to save my crew, even if I never see a majority of them again. <sighs> Captain's crew is his life, regardless of where I'm from or how old I am. Yeah, take it. The Visitor Project is a teleporter, something Heartburn came up with when he got sick of being used as a battery for the Landlighter. Whoa, wait, really? I made this? More like designed it. It took a lot longer to actually make it. Hell, it's still a prototype. This kind of tech is still just beyond us, even from where I'm from. Here's how it works. The Visitor can take you anywhere in the universe, but only for so long. It'll pull you back to wherever this module is located, after a certain amount of time has passed. I've input the coordinates of the nearest ship in range, but you're not gonna like whose it is. Just know that they will help us, okay? <laughs> oh, don't take this the wrong way, but you're just as beautiful as the day I met you. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've wanted to say that for a while now. All right, <laughs> enough stalling. Go, and stay safe. I promise you, we will get out of this. Stay strong, okay? Good luck, sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart? <laughs> what, are you guys married or something? No, oh, hop <laughs> <laughs> Easy old timer, oh. hey, easy. Oh. Where am I? You were being used too. I didn't see that before. And... And I'm sorry. Good. You're here. I've been expecting you. No, not Leah. Vale. Lee and I are connected through a sort of telepathic email. I may not agree with him or what he's doing, but we are brothers first. We never use each other to aid our own goals. It's strictly social and emergency use only. Guess what kind of occasion this is. What is he saying now? He's... worried. Which is all the more reason for us to continue getting a move on. Come with me. Where are we going? I thought that would be obvious to you by now. We're going to see the Pirate King, Mortalis. Yes, the Pirate King. Yergwin's actions left a power vacuum in Thunderhive that Black Epsilon filled. With Mortalis running the only political faction, he becomes the Pirate King by default. It also makes Yargwin a criminal, guilty of desertion, on top of a few other things. Right now, however, none of that matters. What matters is saving the Hercules. I have a plan, but it means you're going to have to face Mortalis. It doesn't matter what he thinks of you. What matters is that he can save the Hercules and its crew. For the time being, this is good enough. May I assume that you agree? Good. Let's go. Captain. Vale. You. How did you get here? You have some nerve showing your wretched face around here. How did you get in? The Hercules is trapped in a temporal rift, Captain. Is it now? <laughs> and why is this my problem? My brother is on that ship, so is Yagwin, and a lot of other humans. They are deserters, Vale. 
They bear no interest to the needs of Thunderhive. Or to me. Even Yagwin? Yagwin chose this. It was Yagwin who sent our guest here. He did this to show that they are alive and need our help. We all know you can help as well. In another time, perhaps I would have jumped at the opportunity. This isn't the Landlighter Vale. This is comeuppance. And for Yagwin, it was long overdue. So, you're going to let him win then? What? Your arm. You'll never get your revenge. You'll never get the Black Sheffield back. And you won't ever get the chance to win against him. Oh, <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, Vale. Stop it. It's not going to happen. Yagwin fully knew the risks faced in this so-called Odyssey passage. This mission was doomed from the start, and he went with it anyway. It's amazing he could recruit anyone to his cause. Are you certain I cannot change your mind? Throw the hybrid into an airlock and get back to work. Trinforia isn't going to destroy itself. You leave me no choice, Drelmoth. Excuse me. If the Hercules crew dies, so will you. I don't care what's on that ship, what they stand for, or why they are where they are. They are humans, and worthy of Thunderhive's protection. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Vale. This is exactly why I wanted you as my first mate. I can't be the pirate king of the galaxy's greatest nation if my first mate is not as ruthless as I am. You truly are my worthy successor. You... You were always going to help them, weren't you? Get this hybrid to medical. Have it... cleaned up. I want it to look somewhat pretty when we use it to gain Yagwin's favor. Something tells me he cares very much for this... thing. Medical? But... Do you want your brother back, or not? I... Captain. Good boy. Now run along. I'm sure Respa is just dying to meet our new friend here. It's a shame I have to be at the helm. I rather enjoyed watching it squirm last time. Go now. I will alert you when we arrive. Do not tell it how we save them. I doubt it could even understand temporal engineering anyway. But just in case... We should keep it a secret. As you say then, Captain. That was... N never mind. Come. Hmm? I'm taking you to Respa, our onboard ship doctor and senior researcher. He can be... twisted at times. But I have it on good authority that he will do you no harm. Not much, at least. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not that I don't like you, or that I don't feel bad for what happened to you last time you were here. But right now, your needs are secondary to that of my brother's. Again, don't take this the wrong way. But I value his life over yours. He is family, after all. I'm sure you can understand. No. Perhaps you don't. In any case, I will still make an effort to make sure no harm comes to you. Just know where my priorities lie. We're here. Mia. Be good to your brothers now. They won't be around forever. <laughs> you can be sure of that. Respa? Ah, Vale. Come in, come in. I was wondering if you'd let me have a look at you. Oh. Now this is interesting. I was wondering if I would ever see you again. I have orders from the captain, Respa. You are to clean this one up. Really? Mortellus wants me to do that? I believe the plan is to bait or guilt trip Yagwin into going back to Thunderhive. Ah, so he wants me to clean up your features to make you more presentable, I would assume. Well, I can do that. I must admit. I've been wondering about your physiology ever since your last visit to the Macbeth. When you left, I thought I'd never get a chance like this again. 
Now that I finally have the <laughs> opportunity to explore your anatomy in all of its flaw, beauty, I feel I must make a true examination. Do I have your word you will do no harm? The captain needs this one alive. <sighs> yes, 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 of course. Now go. I must be alone to prepare. It's a shame we can't have more time together, Hybrid. Oh, what things I could have learned from you. But do tell me, when you die, will you donate your body to me? I would so love to perform your autopsy to better understand your genetic structure. I must learn more about the species you're mixed with and how their anatomy has fit together with your own. Oh, you won't. Hmm. Very well. Then I suppose I shall take what I can while I have you. King Merthalus doesn't like us using materials from outside the Thunderhive's jurisdiction. But his cause is... more of an afterthought to me. I suppose I only sided with him to gain greater knowledge over our many enemies anatomical functions. I do enjoy a good autopsy. Now, would you mind looking left for me? Thank you. I'm going to jab you here. Oh, don't panic. It was merely a needle. I've given you a special medicine that will temporarily disable your mortal functions. In just a few moments, you will... There we are. Now, let's lie you down on the table here. Don't worry, it's pretty comfortable. Or so says everyone that takes my medicine. I suggest you try to relax. The mixture I use tends to have a rather nasty side effect to those who struggle against it. I'll tell you what that side effect is. <laughs> But I think you'd better off not knowing. Now, let's get started with your clean up. Hmm. Your dermis is... It's smooth, yet in certain areas it becomes rigid. This must be more of a tissue. It'd be best to take a sample. And while on the subject, your dermis does seem to have a palish purple color to it. It's strange, as if a struggle is happening in the color of your skin. It's like it's not satisfying being the way it is. How truly fascinating. Yes, I should take another tissue sample. Do you see what happens when I bring out one color over the other? Does the DNA fight back? Or maybe it's a disease waiting to be cured. If so, I'll be the cure. Perhaps I'll cure you too. Let's move your hair now. Hair follicle treatment is my specialty, after all. I must say that I am surprised by yours. It's springy. Nothing I haven't seen before, but the position it wants to fall is different. Specific in shape. How oh, fascinating. I'll take a sample for my own research. Not much, of course. <laughs> I don't want anyone to get suspicious. Just enough for me to replicate for my own use. You were being a very good specimen. It's a shame I can only clean you up right now. Otherwise, I'd have done a lot more to try and find points of interest. Well, I suppose I must hold back now. There. I've returned your motor functions. The medicine allowed the will of its creator to dictate how long it lasts sight of each biological form. I could have paralyzed you forever if I wanted to. 
<laughs> You're free to go. Oh? <laughs> you try to attack me. <laughs> Do you even know why my name is Blackwood? I can manipulate airflow. Not in such a way as to cause tornadoes, but a more personal way. I can force the air out of your lungs. You'd never breathe again. I can also send small bubbles of air for your bloodstreams. <laughs> Let me tell you, something very interesting happens when air bubbles goes into the heart of a human. I do not know what would happen to you. So unless you want me to find out, do not test me. Good. Now be on your way before I change my mind. Good. You're hit. Hmm. I don't even need to know if he did something strange. It's written on your face. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have had to deal with that. Truth be told, Mortalis would be a great leader if he saw humans as deserving of criticism. But he doesn't. He only sees himself as deserving of criticism. The result is the science houses of Thunderhive have no ethics division. It's sickening. But we have little choice in such dark times. The galaxy is out to get us. Trenforia peddles the idea that we humans are all monsters, and we have played that part thanks to their propaganda. We became the monsters they believed us to be. We could change, but Mortalis is not the king to enforce this change. We need someone who wants to help make Thunderhive better, not just defend it. We need to realize our shortcomings and grow from them, not let revenge and sin swallow us. We need... Me? Oh, goodness. I don't think so. If what Mortala says is true, I would be just as bloodthirsty as him. No. No, I couldn't. Anyway, you must be curious about your friends on the Hercules, right? Well, without giving too much information away, as per the request of the Pirate King, the Hercules has been rescued. Now, it's a simple matter of taking the crew back to Thunderhive and arresting Yarwin for desertion. To do this, Mortalis needs you. He's using you as ransom for Yarwin. I assume you aren't surprised. Well, let's get going then. Hmm? You will be safe. I will make sure of that. Besides, Leah wouldn't forgive me if you were hurt. First Mate Vale reporting, Captain. Ah, good, you're here. Now, you, come here. Now. The only reason you're not dead right now is because you have some use to me. You're going to do as I say. This process will be a lot less painful for you if you comply. But who knows? Maybe the pain is something you want. Here's what's going to happen. Yagwin cares about you, as he does the rest of his crew. He won't abandon you, not even for this wild goose chase. So, you're going to stay there and look pretty. Last thing we need is Yagwin freaking out that you've been hurt. Yagwin will do as I say, and you, well, we'll talk about that later. Establish two-way comms. Is he ready yet? Oh, okay, go. And her hey, yo. Well done. <laughs> Looks like you caught me. You didn't seriously think that you could evade me forever, did you? This was going to happen sooner or later, Yagwin. You know, when people say hello to you, it's customary to say hello back. Are you going to come back quietly, or am I going to have to force you? Force me? <laughs> Please, when have you ever been able to force me to do anything? <laughs> no, seriously, name a time, I'll wait. I'm not playing around, Yagwin. Why is this all just a game to you? Morty. One day, there will be no light in this universe. No wars, no people, no humans, no aliens, no life, no death, no time. Still, gotta laugh about it, right? 
Are you going to turn yourself in or not? Uh, let me think about that in just one more. We're all set, Captain. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a rain check on that. See you around, Morty. Oh, so you'll leave this one behind then, will you? Leah, wait! <laughs> I see I have your attention. Here are my terms. Surrender to us, renounce your little quest, and turn yourself in. You do all that, and no harm shall come to your little pet here. Do we have an agreement? You drive a hard bargain. Do whatever you want. I... Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, that one isn't actually on my crew. Technically just a contract, now that I think about it. You... But you accepted this one into your ranks. You never do that. Only because the job was to find forks, and I was provided with the means of getting the necessary information. After that, expendable. Sorry, kid. That's just how it goes. You can't possibly expect me to believe that. Can't I? <laughs> hey, Leah, hit that button I labeled Go Really Fast. Engaging warm, Captain. Yagwin, did you just wait? Hey, see you real soon. Yagwin! <sighs> well, this is disappointing. What happens now, Captain? Simple. We leech off the warp trail Lord Heartburn leaves behind, just as we did before. We'll catch up with them eventually. And as for you, well, I guess I'll have to have your body donated to Respa. He keeps pestering me about alien autopsies anyway. No point letting our new resource go to waste. Hold still. Trust me. In a moment, you won't feel a thing. Um, Captain? What? Huh? A teleport? How did... <sighs> Yaquin! I know you're mad, but please understand. He was more scared than any of us. Yagwin's personal log, entry, uh, uh, I don't know. I screwed up. Not that I didn't know this would happen. Still, I hate using people like that. But, when it comes to Mortalis, it's hard to know what the right thing to do in any given situation is. <sighs> well, it doesn't matter now. It'll take some time to get over. I've said my piece. I've said I'm sorry. But... There's nothing more I can do. After we were rescued, Leah told me Vision was gone. I felt like shit. His life was in my hands. Why couldn't the older me have... Well, after that I just didn't care. I don't care if I'm hated by anyone now. My crew is safe. That's all that matters. All that matters. And as for Vision, I'm not sure what happened. I thought he'd come back after the temporal sink, but apparently Vision is just gone. Then, as if that wasn't bad enough, during the call with Mortalis, I... I panicked. I knew the visitor would teleport back, but not for a few more minutes. I needed to say something that would throw Mortalis off guard. He knows all my tricks too well. After the teleporter kicked in, I... I couldn't even look. I knew what I had done. I knew there was going to be anger and tears, but... Honestly, I'm just glad everyone's alive. It's better than I could have hoped for. We were safe. And that's all that matters to me. Ah, I suppose there is that little thing Lear told me. Mortalis is likely using the warp trail we leave behind when we use Heartburn. He's using it to find us. And to catch up to us. Speaking of Heartburn, he's still young for some reason. Guess his older self decided it was more fun to be young. But according to Leah, it's not a very likely theory. <laughs> well, what do I know? 
Anyway, Leah suggested that I find a planet to hide from Mortalis. I said, what planet? There aren't even any stars out here besides the main ring of Hoag's object. He told me that wasn't necessarily true. I don't know where this planet came from, but it's very convenient. 70% of it is water, so that means the Hercules can land on it. And there's some good hiding spots here too, in case Mortalis does actually find us. I thought if Fawkes came here, maybe we'd find some clue as to where he is exactly. But then, Lear called for a quarantine order. I kept asking him why, but he never answered. Well, uh, we've been down that road before. So I got the drop on him and flew out in the Black Sheffield. It's fine though, I'll be back before he notices. Probably. It's always a gamble with Mr. Quantum Brain. So I flew around the area, found this beach. It's... It's nice. Peaceful. Like nothing in the world matters anymore. I think if I were to give up being a pirate, severed all my ties with everyone and just became a hermit or a farmer or something, I'd come here. I'm surprised Forks isn't here, actually. Everything just seems... so far away. We'll be stuck here for a few days until Mortalis gets sick of looking for us. And then we'll just take off. End log. <sighs> Maybe I should delete it. Hmm? Whoa! <laughs> Where'd you come from? You, uh... You didn't hear any of that, did you? <laughs> Every word, huh? <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I don't normally keep a log, but... I don't know. Something told me it was a good idea to start a little while back. So. What are you doing here? Game to take in the view? <laughs> well. Like what you see? Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Bad time for it. <sighs> uh, you, um... You aren't still mad at me, are you? <laughs> Silly question. Why'd you come out here then, really? You want the truth? Uh, about what? How I feel? Uh, about what? About you? Well, uh... <laughs> I think you're a good person. And? Uh, um... And I think that you want to do the right thing, and... Uh... Okay, what's this really all about? You're being so vague. W what do you mean, never mind? You're le- Oh, oh no, you don't! Uh-uh. I'm not getting off you until you're straight with me. Now I have questions for you. What do you mean, what do I feel about you? What do you feel about me? And while we're on the subject of asking questions, how'd you even find me? Oh, and what the hell is the thing you're taking to Forks? I still have no idea. Oh, fine, fine. Only one question. Get off you. You gonna run off? You won't? <laughs> well, good. If you're lying to me, I'll never forgive you. Wait. What's that? You're... You're hurt. Where'd you get that? Doesn't look like a normal cut. Resper? I... I had no idea. Damn it! what's wrong with me? I could have done something to protect you. I'm such an idiot. Calamos, Vision, now you. Why didn't you tell me when you got back? You... You knew I'd be upset. You... You thought about that, so you didn't say anything. I... I think... I think I have my answer now. Uh, oh, oh, I'll, I'll get off you, sorry. 
Um, here's my question. Are you sure you want this? I... I can't guarantee you'll be happy. No. Really. I'm just some scumbag pirate who's desperate for the glory days. <laughs> what do you mean I'm more than that? I'm really not. <laughs> well, if you say so. Oh, but, uh, before I forget, let me, uh, see that cut. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be careful. It may sting a little, but you'll be okay. <sighs> there. How does that feel? You asked me once before how I feel about you. After this, <laughs> I think I'm in love with you. Is, uh, is that okay? Truth be told, I've never been in love before. Oh yeah, sure, I've had partners before, but this... This feels... Different. I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> of all the things I've been scared of about this mission, this has got to be the scariest. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> it's how I cope with stress. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll calm down. You know, Fawkes left Thunderhive a message 15 years ago. He said two words, move forward. A lot of people interpret it differently, but to me it means to step up. Be that beacon of hope that everyone looks to for guidance. And, if you're ever scared, remember to laugh. At first it was easy, but over time, it's gotten harder. Then you show up. And it was like none of it mattered. <laughs> I've been confused about you for a long time. Now that I know, tell me. What happens now? First you what? Ow! Ah! You really going to do- Well. I'm sure I'll get used to it. <laughs> have to say, you're a terrible kisser. <laughs> ow! Ow! Okay, okay. I deserve that one. Oh. Well then, you, uh, want me to teach you? <laughs> you blushing? <laughs> oh, Leon Tempera, you are such a sweetheart. Okay, so, kissing, huh? Where do I start? Better question, where do I start on you? Hey there, listeners! It's me, Tide. You know, that one guy with the podcast. This is the last episode of Season 1 of Space Pirates. Season 2 will happen a bit later... But, during the intermission, GBA is planning on showing off a few more projects he has planned for later down the line. We hope you enjoyed listening, and thank you so much for being here. But, before the video ends, I have one teeny little spoiler for Season 2. Just so you guys don't think we're going anywhere. See you real soon! Sweetie, you aren't thinking of giving up, are you? If you really want this... I can take you back to my world. I kept it to remind me who my enemies are. I'm surprised to see humans in this galaxy at all. Let alone inside a black hole. I know that name. You're the one who destroyed my home. You're just like her, you know. Always using others to get what she wants under the guise of a kind face. You both make me sick. 